Hello from Kenco Farm Fence. In today's video, we want to show you some variations of how to connect your wire splicing or bringing two ends together and making a joint. We're going to start out the video with using the, probably the most common method, and that is using crimping sleeves. You'll notice in my hand here, I've got a little bit of shorter one and a little bit longer one. For a crimp using the standard crimp sleeve, you're going to need three of them. For a crimp using the long sleeve, the C2L, you'll just need two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to thread these on to the end of this wire and line them up, line the two ends up so that you see how a crimp would look. Sliding them onto one end, bringing the other end of your wire together. I take and leave a little bit of a tail on it, and then utilizing a crimping tool, I'm going to crimp these three sleeves from end to end. Now you've got a splice using the standard 2-3 crimp sleeve. In our next method, we're going to utilize two longs. Again, sliding your sleeves up on it on one side, bringing your other end of wire together. placing them in there together. I'm gonna to crimp starting from here and work my way to the opposite end. Now we've completed our splice with two long crimp sleeves. Okay, this next method, we're gonna utilize a gripple plus medium. You'll notice the arrow here and here, which is the entry point for your wires. One going in here, one going in here. The large hole, take and insert your wire in, Push it through about four inches, taking your other end of your wire, coming it through again about four inches. Now we're complete. To clean it up or to secure your tails, Gripple makes these little blue connectors. Simply snap it on, rotate it around, take your tail, press it in. Now the tail of the wire is secured. In this next method, we're going to use a quick splice. The wire itself will enter in half this direction, half this direction. There are some little blocks in the middle to keep you from pushing it all the way through. Taking your wire, now the splice is complete. With this next method, 
we're going to utilize a fast lock. Notice two holes on the side. Your wire is going to enter in through the small hole on this side and here on this opposite side. Now our splice is complete. With this next method, we're going to utilize a fast link. Wire is going to enter in on this side into your hole and into this side. Taking the end of your wire, inserting this end in about four inches past, your opposite end in about four inches past. Now we're complete. We hope showing you the various products to complete a splice or join wire ends has been helpful. If we can be of assistance, give us a call at 1-800-KENCOVE or visit us on the web at kencove.com.